Blender, Blender and Blender. You see it everywhere, right? Like nowadays on Instagram, Pinterest, Behance, a lot of many talented designers, students, 3D artists, everybody is using it, right? Especially in car design, you see it more and more. I agree, I'm also a lover of Blender. I'm big fan of the software because it changed a lot my workflow and my process and it made everything super faster and easier for me. But I understand if you'd never tried, if you are still a little bit questioning this, if you are not sure if you want to learn it or not, I can understand it's a little bit discouraging at the beginning maybe because if you open the software for the first time you will see this cube and you don't even know what to do, you don't even know the controls. It might be a little bit discouraging but I can tell you it's super fast and super easy to learn if you follow the right steps. For example, here I want to show you the steps we followed on the workshop that I did three weeks ago. I was teaching to master car design students from SPD, where I also graduated a couple years ago, and it was quite fast. Like in five days, four hours per each day, we came from this default cube to this level of modeling and visualization and rendering as well. So I want to show you a little bit of what we did on this workshop to show you how easy it is actually to learn Blender and use it. And also don't worry about you couldn't participate to this workshop because I have my online course that I show exactly the same process from the default cube to the car model level until this and only in 9 hours. It's 9 hours pre-recorded videos and you will learn all this process in my online course as well. If you're interested in the link is in the description. Alright, the first day we started with this cube here. I showed them how to rotate this cube, scale and just move it around like the basic commands of it. And after that I explained the difference of the subdivision and non-subdivision or how subdivision works and also how the smooth shading works. So this way we learned how to create the smooth surfaces as well as with a crease on it or like a variable radius and this kind of different surface treatments. These all happened in the first day. I also showed them how to create the materials, very basic materials to get this reflection on the surface. So this way when you already start learning while modeling, like even on the first step, you can already see the materials on the car or the volume you want to create if it's a spaceship or whatever. You can already see the materials and create while seeing these reflections and everything. I to me it's still mind-blowing, to me it's still super helpful for my design process and my workflow. Then I showed them also how to import blueprints, images, just as a reference. We, it was not about modeling uh, existing car, it was about putting our own ideas to the 3D as well as in my course. I'm not showing how to model an existing car because to me it doesn't make sense as a designer. The point is to put my own ideas in the fastest way, in the easiest way to 3D. But for teaching reasons we needed some references so that's why we imported these blueprints to create the basic volume. Until here what you've seen, it was the first day of the workshop. So from zero to create the basic volumes of a car, in just a couple hours they already learned this and it was their homework. And also in my online course you will see the same in just a couple hours, step by step, how to do like divided videos and easy to digest this way. Then we kept going on this basic volume to close the volume and adding this subdivision and smooth shading just to see the volume, how to create the volume, only for the logic. And then we also learned how to add these creases, for example on the wheel art you see the difference between these two models is the blue one is a closed volume and it also has these creases and a bit more refinement on the topology. So until here it was learning the basics of the logic, basics of Blender and how to create volumes and connect the faces in each other and the topology and all this stuff. After that it was time to import our own sketch which is the exciting part for me. So I had these two sketches of a Porsche and nothing else like it's just a side view sketch and a front three quarter sketch. So these two are enough already to create our volumes, our silhouette and start our design. So I took this side view sketch and I already created the volume if I show you here on 3D. I created the basic volume first. It's a super quick process. It's basically just pulling and stretching a couple of vertices to create your silhouette, create your volume of the car. And also edit the wheel arches to understand the basic proportions of my own design. So you don't need any blueprint or anything. All you need is just your own idea and your sketch. And then we kept on closing the car. I showed them the logic of topology and a little bit more complex surfaces here, for example. On the side we have this air intake which connects very nicely to the side of the body. Here we have the shading problems because it's just about the basic topology and the volumes how it should be. Then also we already learned how to put different materials on the same object and the basic wheels and everything. And on the next step it's about refining the topology, adding these creases, following up with our design and cleaning the reflections. As you see here on this air intake area of the car we have this extreme surface angles but still it connects very nicely to the side of the car and we have this smooth shading going on. So from this sharp edge to the soft body panel, we learn how to do these kind of things. 
And again, on the workshop, until here, it took, I think, the first four days, four hours each day, while I was answering their questions, also checking the homeworks and going step by step and a little bit slower. So that's why in my course, it's only nine hours in total everything, because everything is pre-recorded step by step. So it's way easy to follow and understand. But even in the workshop, when we were interacting with almost 20 students, still we were able to come to this level, which was really good. I mean, if you guys are watching, it was a really good job, I can say. So here we also learned how to create this light material to add a little bit more fun while modeling and we created our headlight area again with the topology and keeping the creases and the soft body surface here. Then we learned also how to create a wheel like the basics of a wheel and the system the logic behind creating the spokes and also the texture on the rubber part by using the array tool and how to create your own design on the wheels. And right after that we combined these wheels with our body which is also more developed and refined. We added the glass material to the car, we added some basic shot lines to the car and even the rear lights. We didn't even have a rear sketch of this car, of this design, but that's the beauty of Blender again. While modeling you can keep on designing and for example around these two stages here, I love to take screenshots and renders and put them into Photoshop and sketch over them to develop my design further and then come back to Blender and then developing it further on 3D. So both in the workshop and on my online course I also show how to get renders like realistic renders and quick renders as well kind of like a screenshot with two different render engines so Blender still impresses me with how fast it is like how easy to create this model from just a sketch to here. So at the end this whole process was about from basics from zero until this point but creating this car was actually around like six seven hours i think even while teaching so when you learn when you get fast with the blender you can take your sketch and create the basic volumes of it in just a couple hours or at least in one day you can have this level of visuals and this level of data in 3d on your own design and just to be clear what you see here is the end result of the workshop but on my online course we will model a different car we will model this mini again from zero from the basic cube to all these basic commands and everything until this level it takes less than nine hours you will learn everything you need to put your own idea to 3d in a very quick way i wanted to make this video to show you my excitement about blender and how impressive it is really and it changed my workflow on my professional works and also my personal works so if you still don't use blender but if you see all around your social media feeds some very cool stuff done in blender and if you want to just jump into it but if you're a bit discouraged just don't be it's way easier and faster than you think to learn this software and it's definitely becoming one of the industry standard programs and here in this video you can see other car designers using in this software in their professional work as well as their personal work see you in the next video